Hello YouTube, Reseller Mom here. Welcome to today's video. Today I am doing my weekly vlog. It is Tuesday, the 1st of November. We are officially like slamming into Q4 here and it's crazy busy. I've got a ton on my to-do list, but today is the first of the month and I need to do inventory. I'm trying to add background music too. Let me know what you guys think. If the background music is a thumbs up or thumbs down, let me know. So today I'm working on inventory and I dislike doing inventory, but if you do an accrual base accounting system, which is what my CPA has me doing for my business, you need to, at the end of the month, account for anything inventory wise that's not an in inventory lab. So any shipments that I've paid for that are not an in inventory lab that are on the way, anything sitting around, I have some items that I've recalled that I need to rework or, you know, like the G10 issues, the toy compliance. I have stuff sitting around the office and that all has to be captured until I either send it to Amazon or damage it out or sell it on eBay or whatever. It's gotta be accounted somewhere. So in my Google sheet for my accountant, every month I, make a copy from the old month, and then I will go through and I will go through all my eBay items and I will delete out any eBay items that have sold and then update kind of all the rest of the junk sitting around here and the stuff in process coming to me. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. My easiest way to, just kind of tips and tricks around all of that. So my easiest way to kind of see what have I paid for that I haven't sent in is to go through my, credit card or bank transactions and see like, oh yeah, that charge went through and I need to account from that. So on my inventory sheet, I have kind of all my inventory batches and things on the way. And then I have to go around the office and do all of the counting of the things. And that's where systems, I've really tried to beef up the systems and I think I've almost got it. I'm never perfect, right? But <laughs> you strive for that perfection. I'm like, I'm almost there. I can feel it. I'm almost there. So on things that we count, we just take, like, let's say you have a stack of notebooks, okay? You have a stack of notebooks out there. They need to be processed. They need to go in. We will go around and count and then just put a post-it on the top of it. This is really helpful because some of the items I have are like waiting for something else to come in. And we will often forget to count them or did we count them or write them down or whatnot. Sorry, my back itches right here. There we go. Uh, the other thing that I do is I will go and I will print out some of the Google sheet and then go through and just mark up. Now, uh, you know, I can cross lines off and okay, we had 20 of these and now we have 15, but I'm going to just work on my business a bit today and take it one step further. I have several items that we order every month. I mean, every month I order so many of this or order so many of this, and I always have to have something in stock. You know, they're little things that go in bundles or, you know, one item that goes in several different things. And so I'm always having those. So what I'm going to do is on a separate page, I called it, what the heck did I call it? I called it something, inventory cheat sheet. <sighs> so, on my inventory cheat sheet, I am going to go through and list out kind of all those things that we count every month consistently. And we just need to update the numbers. And on that sheet, I have the location, which you can call it whatever you want. I have mine called inserts and replens. Top of the refrigerator is where I'm keeping my Easter stuff that I'm waiting for maybe January, February to send back in. Office, which means it's in this office area. I try to keep things in the office area that I don't want my staff to touch. Like I'm building a listing for it or it's a recall for whatever reason, whatever. So I don't want them to touch it. I've had a couple of times where I've put something personal or something that was meant for something else and they packed it up and shipped it out. So need to watch that. And then warehouse is what uh, is just out there. So it's kind of... I think the four areas and then be oh I do have one called bookshelf and the other things are just my inventory lab batches and shipments that are haven't arrived here yet okay so then I have my description which has been blurred out blurred out the old sharpie way and account and then I have 
uh, let's see here, quantity, purchase price, total, which is quantity times price, and then my new column is just new quantity. Because if we go to the shelf and we're like, okay, we counted 63 of those last month. Well, if we didn't use them this month, then there's still 63 there. So I wanna make it easy and keep those old quantities on there and just either cross out and update or whatnot. Then that way I can hand this to my, my peeps and or do it myself like I am doing today go out there and quickly go through and say, yep, I got this, I got this, I got this, and I don't got this anymore, and update, come in here, put it in the computer, and bang, I'm done. The other thing that this is gonna help me out with completely is a lot of these replen items, I will calculate the price when I'm doing whatever in inventory lab, and then I don't write that down, which is, is bad. So. This sheet, I'm going to have it have a lot of those replenishable items and I'll have the cost of goods right there. So when I am building my bundles and or piecing things together, I can have a reference sheet to go look. Cause today I spent, oh my gosh, probably a half an hour logging into stores, looking at old shipping emails. You know how when they, they which is so irritating, they send you, you know, your order is shipped, but do they tell you how much it costs? No, you have to click in, you go sign in. And some of the stores I hadn't set up like a sign in. So then I had to, it, anyhow, it was computering this morning and it was frustrating. So, uh, you know, it's gonna help me down the road. And that's kind of the difference between working, what is it, working in your business? You can work in your business, but you gotta take some time every week and work on your business and taking the time this morning, getting that structure done, which is just copying and pasting and like, you know, doing a quick, couple quick little tweaks. And then I'm, I'm done and I have something that will help me save me time and streamline it even more next month, which right now my old way was just to print out and then go update. But there's a lot of things that I don't have in stock, but I know I'll have in stock next month. So I wanna, you see where I'm going with this. I don't wanna repeat myself over and over. The next thing that I will do is, this is my terrible handwriting, but I got to go through and file all my paperwork, which, let's see if we can show any of that. This is my monthly paperwork file, and you can see it's a mess, but that's okay. I keep it all kind of tidy into the folder, then I'm going to take it out on a monthly basis and put it into the orange vanilla, orange kind of looks orange, but whatever this is called, Manila? Is this Manila? It kind of looks more orangey to me, but whatever this is, <laughs> folder. And for these, I think I went to the 10 by 13. It's either nine by 12 or 10 by 13. Whatever that little bit extra size is, because if you get the smaller size, it's hard to cram it all in. Anyhow, so I go through and I sort out my paperwork, put it in here, and then it goes in a banker box out in the warehouse by month, and if I need to pull a receipt, I can go pull a receipt. This is my receipt management. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't it? I stuff everything in an envelope, and I will write, what was last month? October, I will write October Business 2022 on the outside, and stuff that in there as well. And then I also have, this is my box that sits on the bookshelf, and all of my paperwork for the month as they come in, you know, packing slips, uh, Rite Aid always gives you the return labels, the little, these little things from Amazon. The packers know just to put any of that paperwork in here and it's tidied up and it won't accidentally get in the trash can or get recycled, <laughs> whatever the case may be. So other things that I can tell you is I dislike inventory as uh, you probably have guessed by now. So when I come in, I put on the radio and uh, what did I play? I think I played Potsu. Potsu or idealism is kind of my go-tos for just relaxation in the morning, get my Zen on and kind of hunker down to it. So I have my process. I go through, take out my eBay items. Then I go through my uh, transaction receipts and I start putting in any transactions that have not been put into inventory lab. Then I print out my thing and I go out to the warehouse and I just go around the room boop, in a circular motion, count it up, come back here, update, counted the office, update and file my paperwork and then I'll be done. And let's see here, I started, it's taking me way longer, but I've had some interruptions this morning for sure. 
I also made myself a nice cup of raspberry tea after I had my giant thing of coffee, of course. So, you know, get something good to drink, wear something comfortable. It's kind of, this is my my fun robe jacket. I call it my, eh, yeah, just, <laughs> but wear something comfortable, get your process down, make it as enjoyable as you can. So that way you're not dreading towards some of these tasks and you can just knock them out and be efficient with it and not procrastinate, put it off, have it be a mess, have it be a headache, have to take three Tylenols to deal with it. And there are certain tasks like this with doing an online business. I do my finances on Thursday mornings. It's gonna be a very similar process. Put on some Zen music, get something good to drink, wear something comfortable, sit down and I've got my process to go through my bills and fill out my worksheet and know exactly how my cash flow is going. That's that's where I'm at. So on Thursday, I need to know where my cash is going, how much do I have left to spend, and what's coming in. Because I tell you, I ordered stuff, let's see, I ordered stuff at ASD in March for Christmas. They charged me in September. They just are shipping out today. How do you keep track of that? You can't all keep track of that in your head. The other thing that has been going on is as you go through all this stuff, you'll find little things you need to do. Like, oh, I need to, I had something I needed to follow up with. I got charged for something they haven't shipped, so I need to send them an email. I have my Trello board up on the other tab and I make myself a little note. So this morning's notes were to call an email, see why something hasn't gotten shipped out. Call email, they were supposed to get in stock something yesterday. Did it come in stock? Uh, there is a certain product that got locked down and I wanna submit an invoice and see if I can get ungated for it. I got charged for one of the tactical arbitrage. You get so many searches. And so I, I saw that I got an extra search on there and I wanna just verify that is what it is and do I need to, to do anything with it. Um, and then I need to call the other company and see what's going on with that shipment. So, you know, I've got my little to-dos down, but I'm gonna finish, stay focused, because if you start doing all these side projects, you're never gonna get the main project finished. And I have to be done by like now, because my packers are gonna come in and we're starting the new month and it's like clean slate, draw a line, line in the sand, gotta go. Um, but yep, that's it, I'm gonna go through and uh, file all this paperwork and make a copy of my, let's see here, on my Google Sheets, October is now done. So I go ahead and right click uh, duplicate and then I rename the new one is going to be 11.30.22 because it will be for the end of this month. And November only has 30 days, right? Yeah, only 30 days this month, but we do got Black Friday coming up. So that's like a couple days right there extra or at least it feels like it. All right, guys, that is it for today's warehouse update, taking you through just some of the, the things and what I mean about processes and making it easier on yourself. When you do, when you sit down and you work on your business a little bit, it it's like it saves you time every month. So it's just exponential on, on saving on time and hassle and headache, definitely headache with doing paperwork. All right, take care, have an amazing day.